This movie demonstrates the isolation of mononuclear cells from peripheral blood sample and preculture methods prior to human IPS cell establishment. The blood sample is collected into Vacutainer CPT tooth purchased from Beckton Dickinson and Company. After gently mix by inverting from 8 to 10 times at room temperature, the blood sample is centrifuged at 1800 G for 20 minutes. At the time, acceleration and deceleration modes are set to slow. After centrifugation, the vacutainer is transferred into the safety cabinet. And the plasma layer is gently removed by a micropipette attached to 1000 microliters chip, without disturbing the mononuclear cell layer above the gel barrier. The plasma layer may eventually remain somewhat. After removing the plasma layer, the mononuclear cell layer is transferred into another tube to the limit of gel barrier using a micropipette attached to 1000 microliters chip.
Add 12 milliliters of PBS to the transferred mononuclear cell suspension and washed by pipetting. After PBS washing, the mononuclear cell suspension is centrifuged at 200 for 10 minutes. At the time, acceleration and deceleration modes are set to slow. After centrifugation, the supernatant is removed by aspiration. Then 6 milliliters of stem spinae CF is added to make a sample for preculture. Ten microliters of cell suspension sample is collected from the mononuclear cell suspension and mixed with an equal volume of 0.4% trypan blue solution. The cell density of the sample is counted with a cell counter. Three million mononuclear cells are inoculated into each well of a six-well culture plate which is added 1.5 milliliters of perworm stem spinae CF medium. The culture plate should be transferred into a CO2 incubator and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius. 5% CO2 for 6 to 7 days. Medium change is not required during the period. Depend on the condition of the blood sample. If it is a highly active sample, about 1 million cells per wall will be grew at day 6. Grew cells will be collected and used as materials for establishing iPS cells.